Welcome to Child Support Court, the venue for the most outrageous child support cases. In Child Support Court, Judge Sylvia Williams settles highly charged disputes where children's futures are at stake. This is my courtroom. This is not your living room. You will speak when spoken to. Are you giving her any financial support for your children? You need a job. So you got a porn star living in your house. <laughs> I'd like to think so. <laughs> Judge Sylvia is joined in the courtroom by children's advocate and guardian McLeitum, attorney Chase Steele. Attorney Steele's sole intent is to fight for the best interests of the children. Shocking, emotional, outrageous. Child Support Court is the place where parents attempt to do the right thing with the only positive thing from their broken relationship, Child Support Court. Good morning. We are here today in Child Support Court. Mr. Mason, Ms. Rhodes. Mr. Mason, we are here based on your petition to modify your current child custody agreement that you have with Ms. Rhodes. Is that correct? Yep. You have the floor, Mr. Mason. Your Honor, I have a beautiful three-year-old son. I love my son Ryan with all my heart. I see him growing up in an environment that, frankly, isn't suitable for a young child to grow up in. My ex-girlfriend takes care of my son, if you can call it that. Um, I get to see him every other weekend. I think my son Ryan should be here with me. I, I really should have primary custody. What, what type of environment are we talking about? My ex-girlfriend, Sarah, she's, uh, she's a party girl. You know? She sleeps in. She stays out late. She uh, works for a company that goes to... Um, people's houses and sells sex toys to them. I know for a fact these toys are sitting out in places at home where my son who's three years old is, I don't know if he thinks they're toys for him. You know, I don't want anything to do with that. Ms. Rhodes, do you have these toys out in the living room or anywhere out in public Absolutely view? Absolutely not. Um, Mr. Mason, please continue. So why I'm here, uh, to sum it up, I need to have my son with me. I I'm scared that he's growing up in an environment, you know, that is not being cared for properly. I don't know if they're feeding him right. I don't know who's taking him. I think his best friend is the television. That's all he has. All right, Ms. Rose, let's talk about your job that seems to be of interest here. These toys, you know, what's going on? Like you said, I'm a party planner. What type of parties? <laughs> uh, adult industry, basically. Um, like you said, I, you know, supply products to mainly women. So these are women-only parties? Well, I do a little bit of the alternative what about the lifestyle. Male it's alternative. Mr. Mason? Yes, sir. Please go ahead, Ms. Rhodes. You know, every now and then some male strippers are involved. Ms. Rhodes, let's talk about this business that you have, okay, with respect to adult parties that you throw. I mean, I don't think it's really necessary to get into it. I mean, I provide for my child. I make a steady income mm -hmm. weekly, you know, and I'm providing for my child. I don't really think it matters what I do. Well, I think it does matter. Environment is always important when you're looking at the best interest of the my child. My child's it's not sitting there next to the dildo. Ms. Rhodes. Okay, we're not going to talk about the particular uh, paraphernalia that you have in your house. Do you have these toys lying around the house? They are in my house, but they are in a closet. Shut, you know, closed behind the door. You have an unlocked closet full of adult toys. Yes. And your child is three. Yes. And he walks? Yes. So he is, it is possible for him to open this closet? It is possible, but there's no reason for him to go into it. Okay, and, and what else do you do with respect to this type of... Um, industry and this type of entertainment besides throwing parties? Um, well, I've dabbled in kind of the video aspect of it as well. What do you mean by the video aspect? You know, kind of doing a little bit of uh, filming and webcam type thing. Do you do porn? No, 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 not myself, no. Not yourself. <laughs> are you making porn? Are you making pornography in in this house? I wouldn't say pornography. Are there naked people involved? Yes. Are they engaging in sexual activity? Well, uh, yeah. Okay, so that's porn, <laughs> right? Do you have a boyfriend? There's some yes, man. I do. Okay, and what does he do for a living? He right now is doing various things. Sometimes um, he helps me out with my videos. Is he an actor in your videos? Uh, just on one occasion. So you got a porn star living in your house? <laughs> I'd like to think so. <laughs> oh, you think this is funny, huh? Yeah, yeah, you Sorry. think this is funny. At this time, I am going to hear from the guardian at Lightham. Good morning, Your Honor. Chase Steele, guardian ad litem on behalf of Ryan Mason. In all my years as a guardian, I've never seen such a living environment so unstable. She's basically running a, an adult entertainment store out of her house. I would recommend that the child be placed in the custody, sole custody, of Mr. Mason. Sarah Rhodes should be given uh, visitation of twice a week and no weekends. I think that the environment that she currently has a child in is not in conducive to raising a child. Full custody is still going to remain with Ms. Rhodes at this time. Um, however, I am going to change the visitation schedule that's currently in place. 
um, Mr. Mason, you are going to have the child every weekend. That's it. Every holiday. And Ms. Rhodes, what you're going to do is you're going to submit a monthly schedule to Mr. Mason. And you're going to tell him every time you have a video cam taping, you've got your porn star boyfriend, whatever. Anytime you have anything of a sexually explicit nature with respect to your business that is being transacted in your home, in a nightclub, or any other place, you're going to tell Mr. Mason, and so he will have the opportunity to pick up the child and to spend time with the child. Because I believe that a father and son bond um, is important. And that is the order of Child Support Court. We're here today in Child Support Court. Now, Ms. Gibson, Mr. Hayes, we are here because Ms. Gibson has filed a petition and she is seeking a joint parenting agreement and also financial support for her nine-year-old daughter and the child she has that uh, will soon be here. At this time, Ms. Gibson, you have the floor. Where do I start? Derek and I met in high school. Um, we had some great dreams together. He promised me lots of things. We now have a nine-year-old daughter, Ashley. However, he's not been helping to take care of Ashley nor the baby that we have on the way. So he can't keep a steady job. You met in, when you were in high school, okay? At that time, he had dreams to become an NBA star player, right? Until he got hurt. Okay. What was it, your Achilles something? See, she don't even know what it was. You know, it doesn't right. matter. It doesn't right. matter. Right. Okay. So support. he had... It doesn't matter. You're, you're going you to have an opportunity to... You need to support. Child. Hello, hello, this is my courtroom. What exactly do you do for a living? Artist management. Okay, that's I your job. I get my artists hot in the street. So you represent artists? So you have a job, you have a W-2, you get income? Is that what you're telling me? A W what? You promote artists, correct? Okay. Your artists are really big. They're on MySpace pages. Am I disturbing you on a phone call? Wait, excuse me one second. This is this book. You, got... you are not allowed to have phones in here. You know, that's part of your problem. You don't take this seriously. You're not going to have phone calls in here talking about you trying to do business and do all that in here. We're here because you guys cannot resolve the issues that you have between you. Are you giving her any financial support for your children? I mean, I've broken down the plan to her so many times, Your Honor, Williams. The plan. Mr. M Ms. Gibson, do you give her financial support? I give it to Ashley. I give it to my daughter because I know if I give it to her, I know what she's going to She want to be fly. So you give a nine-year-old daughter money? Is, is that what you're telling me? Yes, I give her money. And, and do you think that is uh, wise to do? You got to keep your daughter laced up. That's my little queen. You go to clubs, you got a fancy car, you got a fancy phone, you got an office, but yet you can't find time to give this woman some money. You know, I've heard enough from both sides right now, and now I'm going to turn my attention to the guardian at Lydum. Good morning, Your Honor. Mr. Steele, guardian ad litem on behalf of Ashley. Now, I've had the opportunity to interview both Derek and Natasha and see how they interact with Ashley. And I found that, that although they are characters, they do provide much love for Ashley. Ashley has expressed to me a desire to spend equal time with both parents. I recommend that uh, Mr. Mays be given visitation rights of every other weekend and to alternate holidays. Okay, Ms. Gibson, Mr. Mays, I have heard from the guardian ad litem, and this is what's being recommended, actually, it's being ordered by the court, that you're going to have to seek job counseling. You need a job, okay? You cannot be hanging out in a club. I am all for somebody, you know, going after their dream, pursuing that, but you are a grown man. I'm going to order job counseling for you. You're going to submit weekly reports to the court. You're going to show me what you're doing to get a job and what you're doing to become a better man and a better father. Secondly, with respect to visitation, I am going to grant visitation for you. You are going to have the children every other weekend and all major holidays. Thirdly, with respect to financial support, now I understand that you do not have a job. You have a black bear, you have a car, but you do not have a job. So, I am going to order minimal support because you have money coming from somewhere. Otherwise, you wouldn't have a black bear, an office, or a car. So that's going to be up to you on how you're going to come up with the money. Do we'll I have to give it to right her now. or can I give it to my daughter? Mr. Mays, you will be giving it to an adult. And the adult is this woman right here that you have fathered two children with. It will not be to a child. I just do not trust her with money. Huh? That's really not your concern. But right now, what we have before us right now is that you are going to pay, you're going to have visitation, and you're going to get job counseling because you're going to get a job and get out of your mama's house. Okay? And that is the order of child support court.